Yeah, you know, tragically last year, 645 heat-related deaths in Maricopa County. So we wanted to kind of get a sense of what kind of pace we're on this year. And this year so far, we've had 23 confirmed heat-related deaths in Maricopa County. And if we look at the number of deaths under investigation for heat, it's 322. Now, as we scroll down here, at this point last year, we're talking up to the week that uh, we're currently in July 7th to July 13th. There were 18 confirmed deaths and 168 under investigation. So unfortunately, we're actually ahead of that pace. Now, one uh, interesting piece of data I did want to share with you is hospital heat related visits this year. And we often uh, say to you, you know, check on the elderly and certainly the elderly are affected. When you look at hospital visits broken down by age group, you can see indeed the highest is uh, age 65 and over with 20% of that group uh, for hospital visits in this uh, breakdown. But notice at number two, 17% ages 35 to 44. And how about this? 10% of heat related hospital visits in Maricopa County, 18 to 25. So this is not just an issue for the elderly. It can really happen to anyone. And if you're thinking, okay, why is that happening this year? Well, one of the reasons is the temperature. I'm going to show you now where we stand for the first half of meteorological summer. Meteorological summer means June 1st through now, and on this graph over here, we are number one. So, so far for the first half of summer, this year in Phoenix has been the record hottest in history. Coming in at number two is 2022. And if you're wondering where 2023 is, of course, that was the hottest summer on record. At this point last year, it was only in 20th place. Now it did catch up because the second half of the summer was very, very hot. But obviously, these are numbers we need to track carefully, especially when we have that excessive heat warning on the way for Friday and Saturday. Certainly something we need to take seriously.